Hey, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Coin Op TV subscribers, Robert Welkner here, live streaming on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash coin op tv hopefully everything goes well with the live stream here uh, if you guys are tuning in live i'll give some shout outs if you guys watch this on the archive i'll answer questions concerns respond to you there so uh today i want to talk about some uh, news regarding skylanders academy season three collider did an interview with the new showrunners talking about the upcoming season a few days ago on august 22nd but it's been a little busy uh, in the air and in my life and things going on that I, I wanted to wait a few days to actually jump on and do a live stream and talk about this. So just a heads up, uh, spoilers for Skylanders Academy seasons one and two, potential spoilers or at least a sneak peek or preview of things to come for Skylanders Academy season three. So there you go. That's out the door. That's out the window. Let me get my uh, live chat on here so I can give some shout outs and see what's up. So I'm, I'm going to live stream this. I got some notes. I'm going to look down in the chat, see what your responses are, what your vibe is, and uh, sort of go from there. And uh, hopefully, you know, this video won't be too long. I see Chloe's in chat, Sofness, Emilio, what's up, what's up? If you guys find this video and you're a subscriber or not, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get the notifications letting you know when I'm live streaming. Okay, so I'll put also in the archive, I'll put a link to this article for Collider. Shout out to them for doing a great uh, interview with the uh, the new showrunners there for Skylanders Academy. Hey, Horde Gamers in chat, what's up? Okay, so this is from an article on Collider from August 22nd, 2018. Uh, there's, uh, the, from their article, it says, there are lots of surprises ahead as well, including both new and returning characters and some high powered voice actors joining the cast. Find out what the Skylanders are in for season three, what are, which arrives on Netflix September 28th, 2018. So that's exciting news. We, we got the date. We're going to get some news. So I have sort of my bullet points and I have some quotes from the articles. There's about four or five here. If you have some things that you heard about or you're curious about, let me know in chat and we'll talk it out. So first things first, confirmed. Dark Spyro is confirmed. We sort of saw a little bit of a teaser at the end of season two, and uh, we're gonna get Dark Spyro kind of as as the main one of the main players in season three. Uh, something new is a new voice actor. So previously, Justin Long was the voice actor for Spyro in Skylands Academy season one and two. Now they're gonna use Jason Ritter, who was coming on board to provide sort of a darker edge. Uh, character voice. Now, Jason Ritter, I've seen him in a lot of movies and TV shows and stuff. He usually plays comedy, but I've seen some movies where Jason actually plays kind of a mean, tough bully guy, and he did actually a pretty good job of that, so I'm curious to see what his take is as sort of this dual uh, personality with uh, with Spyro. So here's, here's a quote from the article here regarding Dark Spyro. He has a lot of the same attitude and a lot of the same humor. When the door is closed, he's able to turn on this sort of evil glint that wasn't there before and takes it in a whole new direction for a lot of the season. So we'll see kind of a, a dual personality with Spyro there. Of course, if you're fans of Spyro, you know in the past that Dark Spyro has been a thing, so we're sort of stepping into the lore here. Uh, I got a quote from the article here. It says, I would say that there's some surprises coming this season with Dark Spyro, and whatever happened to the original Spyro, they should definitely stay tuned for a pretty, pretty big surprise. So we'll see, uh, I guess, it, you know, how this turns out. If Dark Spyro will convert back to being regular Spyro at the end of the season or something like that. That's that's sort of a possibility. Uh, Chloe says in chat, I haven't finished watching Skylands Academy season one. Uh, hey, get get on it. Time to binge watch. Binge watch. Milio so, says Super Smash switch you. Are you challenging me to Super Smash, bruh? <laughs> um, okay, so that's uh, what we know so far with Dark Spyro and Spyro, the new voice of Spyro, Jason Ritter. So big news there. Okay. Let's move on. The season finale of Skylanders Academy season two, we ended with sort of the question mark on who is Chaos's father. Well, it sort of hinted that it would be Eon. It teased in the finale there. So here's a quote from the, the article. It says, uh, season two ended on a cliffhanger. And so there was already this sort of storyline that needed to be told. So they're letting you know that they're definitely gonna sort of tune in 
to uh, let us know what happened with the season finale cliffhanger. Then I can uh, just, you know, move on from that. Now, I saw Richard Orvich at um, Comic-Con, and I got an autograph for him uh, from him for uh, my buddy J J Jap28. And uh, he asked me, now uh, Richard is the voice of Chaos, and he asked me who I thought was Chaos's dad, and I said, oh, it's got to be Eon, right? So I guess that's the big question. Is Eon going to be... Uh, Chaos's dad, or will that actually be uh, Strikor or something like that? So we'll sort of see how that works out. Now, speaking of Strikor, here's another thing to talk about. Uh, Strikor will be the season three villain. He was kind of unveiled at the end of season two. We're going to find out about his powers and abilities and everything like that. Here's a quote from the Collider article. It says, Strikor sends Dark Spyro to the Academy to retrieve his, this ancient artifact that's hidden somewhere in the school. But he sends him back as an undercover agent, so that kind of drove the whole season that they put together, which was this tale of espionage, and uh, everyone thinks that Spyro's back to normal, but he's really up to no good. So it looks like we're going to see Dark Spyro undercover, secret agent, double agent, secret agent for Strike Corps, trying to go in and get this uh, secret artifact. Here's, here's another quote. The ancient artifact that Strike Corps has sent Dark Spyro to retrieve will point the way to kind of a famous character thing in the game that we're so excited from day one to bring onto the season. It's going to be worth the wait. It's going to be a huge reveal at the end if they can hold out. So it sounds like at the end of season three, we're gonna get some sort of reveal of what this artifact is, this famous character thing, moment, possible thing, is going to be at the reveal. I have no idea what it could be. I mean, the Skylanders world and universe is so epic there's so many characters out there we haven't seen um a whole lot of giants and swappers uh we have seen of course you know some sai from the creation crystal theirs uh i don't know it could be like another villain or something like that unveiled i don't know i see more people jumping in chat i see tigers in chat says hi uh luke's vlogs in chat says how you doing i'm doing well uh sophis in chat says is dark spiral regular spiral but evil or is he a separate character uh, I believe that Spyro is turned into Dark Spyro, so it's the same character, he just becomes sort of dark and evil. I don't think he's sort of a clone, but who knows, the way the show, the cartoon is going, maybe they'll split it off or something. Maybe the essence of Spyro is trapped in like an orb, and then Dark Spyro is sort of released, and you know, the regular Skylanders have to sort of figure this out. This, I'm speculating, guessing on this. Hey, random, random Tom is in chat, what's up? Uh, Tiger says, I love Skylanders. Yes, me too. That's why I'm making this video. Okay, I gotta move along here. Okay, so um, speaking of villains, Chaosandra is gonna be joining up with the Skylanders. If you didn't know, that's Chaos's mom, Chaosandra. She's been in the video games, she's been in the cartoon, she's a fun character. Uh, here's the quote from the article. We like the idea of the Skylanders having to work with one of their biggest enemies. We wanted to sort of play out how, how does that affect them. They have to trust the woman with their lives, and a few days ago she was trying to destroy them. So uh, it looks like we'll see uh, a lot of teaming up of characters on Skylanders Academy that were previously enemies or foes, and now they're friends, and then friends kind of becoming foes. It sounds like that's going to be, be the dynamic of season three, which, which is pretty heavy. I mean, we're talking about technically a kid's show here, a kid's property for youth. There's a lot of stuff going on here, interweaving and the dynamics and stuff, and that's why I wanted to sort of make this video to kind of, you know, break down my thoughts from the Collider article here. Random Tom says, so excited for season three. Yes, thumbs up if you guys are excited for season three as well. Okay, to me, this is the biggest news. Forget everything else I just said. To me, this is the biggest news, and this is what we wanted. Skylanders and Portal Master fans wanted since day one. Captain Flynn! Was, is officially confirmed for Skylanders Academy Season 3. If you've never played any of the Skylanders games, shame on you. Captain Flynn and Chaos are probably the two coolest and, and, and awesome things in the video games, in addition to all the Skylanders as well, but those two characters are, are part of my favorites there. So Captain Flynn will be voiced again by Patrick Warburton, who did Flynn in the video games. Fantastic talented actor voice actor i interviewed him many years ago on my youtube channel and uh we talked about some skylanders briefly and stuff like that so here's the quote it says patrick warburton did the voice in the games we're so excited to have him come to do the voice for the show 
I, I don't know how many episodes Flynn will be in, but it seems like I was reading sort of the description on the Collider site. It seems like they were talking about pirate ships and sort of floating around on ships and going to different islands and they needed to have Captain Flynn. So it looks like maybe we'll have Captain Flynn's ship, his flying ship. I forgot what that was called, if there was a name for that. And um, maybe he'll be the pilot and crack in some jokes. He's got to be at least in for like two episodes, right? I, I can't imagine him being in only one episode. That would be a little bit of a drag. So speaking of characters coming back for season three, let me get my, my figure here. Crash Bandicoot will be back again for season three. Uh, the news here is that he'll be voiced by a new actor. Previously, Eric Rogers, who's the old showrunner of Skylands Academy, did the voice of Crash. Uh, he's not involved in season three quite quite in the same way, so I won't be doing the voice. But uh, the new voice actor for the Crash Bandicoot in Skylanders Academy is Rise Darby, who is famous for the TV show The Flight of the Concords. So if you're fans of Flight of the Concords and Rise Darby, then you'll be excited about that. And I was reading something in the article that's talking about how things are going to mesh well and figure figure all that out. So that's that's cool. I'm excited for some Crash Bandicoot. Of course, other confirmed guests returning will be Sprocket, Cinder, Glumshanks, uh, joining regulars like Stealth Felf, Eruptor, I'm sure Jetvac, uh, Eon, of course. You know, we, we got to see what happens. I mean, the end, the, the end of season two with the Eon reveal, you know, the, the, the pattern on his forehead there. We got we to gotta pick it up, see what happens there. So uh, a lot of exciting things in the Collider article. I'm glad to see some hype, you know, kind of, um, Collider's a big website. It's good to see some hype building for the uh, season three of Skylanders Academy. You know, what I don't know is whether there'll be a season four, if this is an ongoing thing, or if this will end on a cliffhanger, I don't know. Uh, Tiger says, yay, Crash. Uh, Random Tom says, yay, Crash. Uh, Tiger, what's your favorite Skylander? Uh, of course, my favorite Skylander is always the man himself, all fired up, Spyro, he's, he's, uh, he's the one. He's the one for me. So shout outs to everybody. I see a Mad for Life jumped in chat and Grip Cleep, Gripped Keeper. That's a little tricky name to say. Jumped in chat. So we'll give you guys some shout outs, guys or gals. So again, if you guys watch this on the archive, you know, leave a question. Let me know what some of your thoughts are regarding some of these news uh, news topics for Skylanders Academy season three. Again, if you didn't know, it's on Netflix. On uh, September 28th, 2018, oh, I see somebody just jumped in chat. Super Simon says, hi, what's up? I guess I'll wrap up this video. Thanks a bunch. Hey, Lewis just jumped in chat. Lewis, have you been here all this time and you're just saying, what's up? Lewis is a great artist and has done some cool pictures for that I've posted on Twitter and Instagram. So always good to see you, buddy. Uh, thanks a bunch. If you guys are brand new, please subscribe. If you're new but you don't get my videos, hit that bell icon so you can get the notifications. Still doing some videos here and there, a little less because YouTube is kind of a mess uh, right now. But I uh, wanted to jump on with some Skylanders Academy news. I'm very excited and uh, hopefully we'll be able to maybe do some reviews or recap after the season launches, uh, season three launches. So thanks a bunch for watching. Give yourselves all a Portal Master rank up for CoinOp TV. We'll see you in the next video.